Hello! Today we are back with the Wabasto Thermotop V. This one in particular is out of a Jaguar, uh, an S type, I think. Uh, does it say on it? Wait. Uh, S type 2.7D auxiliary preheater. Someone has at the scrapyard has written on it in Tipex or Whiteout or whatever you want to call it. Um, we are going to, today, fire this up using the W bus. I have a W bus adapter in this little teeny tiny box here. I will bring you in and show you it in a moment. Uh, yeah, I better zoom you in and let you actually see what's going on here. Right, this is the little W bus adapter box. I purchased this one on eBay. It has come from safer.hu. This was from Hungary, I think. Hung another, another Hungary. Not the same Hungary as... Not the same Hungary. Not the same person as for the other Bobasto, the Thermotop CEZ. This is a different company, but also Hungary. Shipped. Right. Sue. What you have here is this little box. And it comes with uh, wires and a plug. We only need... Four, really. It's got five. Let me see. Let's start with red and black, your positive and negative. Uh, green is the signal out to the W bus. Orange is your trigger wire that you'll connect to 12 volts to start up. And it also has an output on this one for a water pump. Now, it's only a half amp output, so you need to output this to a relay to turn your water pump on and off. For the time being, I'm just going to manually connect my water pump. Now, it's got a little bit here, so inside, I'm guessing there's obviously a jumper that you can switch it between auxiliary and parking. Now, I thought the difference in the Obasos between auxiliary heater and parking heater was one could run without the engine on and one had to have the engine running. But please feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, if that's not the case, if auxiliary and parking do something different to the heater, I don't know, does it make it run hotter? I could test it. Not in this video, but I will at some point. So, I'm gonna, it doesn't weigh much, it keeps, want, it keeps wanting to drag itself off the board. Let me use a pair of shitty pliers to hold that right there. Let's zoom back out. So on the heater, you will just have your main power plug, positive and negative, and another, your other multi-plug, the eight pin version, but you only need to use two wires out of it. One, uh, the yellow one, my yellow one here, which is pin, uh, pin number five, pin number five, that goes out to the fuel pump, that's the positive pulse for the fuel pump. And the green one, which is uh, pin two, pin two is your W bus in. Uh, I got these, well, this heater didn't come with this plug or this plug or any wires, so if you, I went online and went to this, and we've used them before, FuturaNet, and ordered the plugs. You should, you should go on the website and buy them from them. This isn't a sponsored video. I just bought all these things. I just like to show appreciation to companies that, well, they do what they say they do, and they do it quickly. Like, I ordered these and got them the next day. Also, they're in the UK, which is nice. Uh, right, so that's your two wires into there. Two main powers, mine are connected to the battery at the moment. Let me just set that down. Fuel pump, the fuel pump is an actual correct size fuel pump. It's not a 22 millimeter, mil, mil, millimeter? 22 milliliter per thousand strokes Chinese one. This is the actual, is it a 35? I want to say 35, 35 mil uh, for this uh, Wabasto V. So all I have to do now is zoom you back out again. I don't know why I'm zooming out, it's just, it uh, feels, feels more real. I might zoom you back in on the controller once it's started. So it's basically just a case of giving this a positive trigger. I have a positive trigger. Maybe I should do it on screen. Positive trigger is on this uh, plug here. And if we just put it in here. You can see the, can you see the green light, the red light flashing? Hopefully we'll see the smoke coming out of the uh, heater here. 
Maybe not. Maybe he wants to smoke. But uh, uh, it is smoking. The glow plug is on. To be fair, there's not a lot to see. It just flashes. I imagine the flashes probably relate to what it's doing just now. So this should be running the glow plug up the temperature. Hey, we've seen these diesel, diesel heaters starting before. This isn't really a surprise. But, uh, yeah. So... This, these are the cheapest ones you can buy on eBay at the moment. I think I got this one for £35 delivered. Obviously, the only problem with this, it can't just accept a 12 volt trigger to start it. You have to add in more things. What price was this? Uh, so this little box was €48 Euros delivered. I'll put on screen what €48 Euros is in pounds. So that was €48 Euros delivered. And that gets you a uh, working here. This will be, you know, if this was in your camper van or your car, truck, whatever. Not a lot of money will get you a running, we'll call it more modern setup. It'll be lit then. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to let that run up to temperature and we'll see well, it shouldn't, the, the W bus adapter shouldn't control the operation here. Basically, all it's doing is telling it to turn on and, or turn off. That's all it's doing, I think. So it should just run up to its temperature and then plateau off, go down a lower run, and then eventually just heat itself up till it goes, yeah, I'm too hot, and it goes into shutdown. So I'm going to let that run and then bring you back and tell you what it does. Okay, so we just got to... But I got to 75 degrees and it's now slowly, it's slowing down. It's, I don't know if it's like half power or, but it's less. It's less than maximum attack it goes to. And whereas my little controller here was flashing twice, it's now flashing three times. So that's 78 degrees and it's gone into, well, a shutdown. It's not turned off, it's just, um, the fan is still running inside it. You'll now hear it, well, I won't possibly let you hear it, but it does go into its cooldown sequence where it turns the glow plug on, it runs the fan hard, and so on. So it's at 70, can you see the thing? 70, 70, 79 degrees. So it's probably set to 80 degrees. So it's got to 80 degrees, it's now shut down. Uh, I was actually just reading the eBay uh, art, the article, not the article, listing, just to see if it says an exciting. So I can be used with all Thermotop C, Evos, Z, Cs, Vs. Basically, anything that's got W bus, that little box can turn it on. Uh, I think there's an exciting here. Okay, right, that's, that's all right. So, that is our little W bus adapter from said, uh, I, I presume they are Hungarian, seeing as it's got a dot .hu in their uh, name. Uh, oh, do you want to see inside? Right, where's my... Let me get a screwdriver. Pop the box open. And there's practically nothing to see inside. You've got the jumper. Uh, I think that black thing well, looks like a relay. And that silvery thing might be a timing crystal for the W bus, but everything else is epoxied in. Well, at least it'll be waterproof, but there's uh, not a lot to see in there. But that works, that was 48 euros. I do, I would like to add, add in a note. So, uh, Robinson Labs sent me an email saying they would like to send me their uh, controller for one of these. And they did. It arrived in this beautiful box, uh, laser cut and laser engraved and so on and so forth. And here is the said board. It's very nice, it's very nicely made, it's lovely. The only problem is, I can't get it to work. So I've, as we've seen, this heater works and it responds to W bus commands. When I plug this in, all it says is uh, W bus communication failure and it won't do anything else. So this board is supposed to control your heater and 
you can also plug in USB and then it also becomes uh, an adapter. So you can plug in your Bobasto diagnostic software on the computer and use this to talk to the heater to clear errors, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, it doesn't work. I did reply to their email, but I don't know if because of furlough and things like that, that nobody's in the office and nobody's open, but I would really like to get this working and I presume it's me that's doing something wrong because, well, there's only three wires, you know, ground, positive, and the W bus signal. I'm going to plug a W bus in, it just says W bus connection error and nothing happens with the heater. Which is a shame because this is a really nice looking board and a really nice box and they sent it to me to let me see it, but it didn't work. But I would like to get it working. So if Robinson Labs, you happen to be watching, uh, can you please contact me on the emails, please. Uh, yeah, so again, this is, this is no sponsor. I bought this, this was, I bought this with my money just to work. So this works on these and the old, oh, where is he? He's, he's over here. Oh, let me grab him. Uh, it would work on the Webasto Z, C, E, Z, but this one's currently got the clone Pasto board and it. Did you just pour water all over the... Yeah, you did. You poured the water over the electronics. Not to worry. Thankfully, it's still in my hand, so I've not actually poured on anything important. But yeah, it would work on that if it had a normal board in it. Uh, and you could... But not that one, because that one's got the clone pasto in it and it doesn't need anything like that. And once again, I've started to waffle near the end of the video, whereas what I should have just said is... Thanks for watching, guys.